These are some of the lovely fossil finds from the Jurassic Coast I'd like to be finding today when I head down on the low tide looking for fossils. I'm walking out along the Jurassic Coast today following in the footsteps of a very famous lady, Mary Anning. And uh, in the church, you can see a window that they put in, the Royal Geological Society of London, after she passed away, depicting her life in Lyme Regis in the town itself. So I'm heading out down along the Jurassic coast through to the east, fossil hunting on this very, very calm day. And in about 10 minutes, I'll be out on the reefs as we've got a very low tide today. I'm going to walk down along this section looking for fossils out at low tide and you can see the tide's already going out and uh, we've still got about an hour and a half before it is full low tide. We're not far down along the seawall with the tide going out and here on this limestone pavement is a very nice lot of ammonites from the Jurassic Age including this one right in front of me here. Can't see it so well until I drift a bit of seawater across it. Now you can see the chambers of the creature showing up. Well, I've walked quite a way down along the Jurassic coast. I'm at the low tide mark today. The sea's gone out really far and you can see right back at the beach, the high tide water level where it got up to where the kelp has been washed in and there's Black Ben down there in the distance all the mudslides and where I'm standing here I found quite a nice ammonite a piece of Astrostra stellari ammonite looks like the center of it and I'll show you here where I'm standing as the sea's just receding a little bit more probably another sort of few minutes Here's an ammonite from the Jurassic Age called Astrostrus stellari. You can see the chambers there of the creature. A bit sea worn, but uh, lovely suture patterns there from the uh, Jurassic Age ammonite. I'm just here on the outer edge of the slip really large landslip. It was many moons ago and I've tapped open one of the uh, nodules, a little small nodule. You can see the eroded outer edge of an ammonite there and uh, I tapped it, cleaved it through and one of the little ammonites preserved in calcite there. I'm still out on the uh, reef looking for the uh, fossil finds. The sea's coming in at quite a lick now. The tide has turned, it's on its way in. And uh, just here in this rock pool, as the tide comes in, I've spotted one of the ammonites preserved in pyrites, funnily enough, all the way out here. One of the little ones preserved in the fool's gold. Just in that area there, you can see. Little ammonite from the Jurassic. There is Charmouth down there in the distance. So I've come quite far east today along the Jurassic coast. And you can see quite a fun fossil find just between the rocks here I've made. One of the coprolites from the Jurassic Age. Just wash it here. See some of the structure there in that specimen. There's some inclusions in. There's even a little belemnite in the rock pool. I was just washing it in. 
guard of the sea creature, the Bellum Knight. In the background you can see the last of the ledges, the tide coming in, washing over them. The sea's well on its way in now. And here's finally some of the fossils you can find every day along the coast. The Bellum Knights there. Those fossil Bellum Knights wash up regularly in amongst the rock pools. And then also too a lump of the iron pyrites, fool's gold. You find a lot of that everywhere in amongst the rocks and uh, it's quite heavy metallic looking stuff and uh, it looks more bronzy than that usually but this bit has turned to limonite on the outside so i'll carry on looking see what i can find <laughs> 